Hey guys, this week as we are figuring out what is going on on campuses, uh, I will be doing some video demos uh, for you guys. Uh, and this week we're going to be discussing black and white photography uh, inside of um, as you go on your photo shoots, as you work through your themes, uh, and as you get into Lightroom. Um, black and white photography in itself, uh, we could spend a lot of time and I have emailed you some different things that I'd like for you to read through, some different articles, uh, some different videos I'd like to get you to watch. Um, but really when we're focusing on uh, black and white photography, uh, a few different techniques that I'd like for you to pay attention to or a few things that I would like for you to pay attention to are things like tone uh, and contrast, um, things like uh, how deep your shadows are, um, the shapes that are being produced within your image, and uh, how light is going to affect uh, your different textures that will appear uh, within your image. So basically, uh, black and white photography in its most basic form is just an absence of color. Um, uh, it's timeless. Um, there are a lot of things that we could uh, break down and get into uh, this uh, particular week, but what I want you to focus on is really the values that are going to be produced within your image. Uh, the contrast that's going to be produced within your image and how you can take any image that you have already uh, created um, or, or any image that you are planning to shoot uh, and you can convert that over to black and white. Now for some of your cameras, really for most of your cameras, you will have, uh, and you may want to take a look at your manual, uh, you'll have within your camera uh, a monochrome setting uh, Basically what that means is if you have a digital viewfinder, if you shoot in live view uh, for most digital uh, SLR cameras, uh, or if you have a mirrorless camera with an actual digital viewfinder, uh, you can view the images that you take in black and white. Uh, as long as those images are shot in a raw based format, uh, you are still retaining all of your color information um, or whatnot. But this will kind of help you as you're out in the field shooting uh, when you're paying attention uh, to things like contrast or uh, uh, shadows or uh, the light that's being produced or, or really just kind of anything that you're, that you're um, uh, capturing within your image. Uh, what we're going to pick up today, uh, and this is to be done, um, to be kind of watched uh, after you've done a majority of your reading uh, uh, that I've signed for you, uh, is what we can do or how we can convert these images that we've taken uh, already um, or the images that we're going to be shooting into black and white and what you need to be paying attention to and how you can begin to go in and manipulate these images uh, from color in order uh, or from color, excuse me, uh, over to black and white and some things to watch out for. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. What I've got here is I've got just a series of images um, uh, that we're going to convert from color uh, over to black and white using Lightroom. This can also be done in Photoshop. We will discuss that uh, as we get into Photoshop um, uh, at the beginning of next uh, semester. But for right now, what we've got is we've got just a series of images and I'm just gonna start off with this image. Uh, gonna take it into the develop tab and uh, I'm gonna point you to a couple of key areas inside of Lightroom that I want you to, uh, that you want, want you to get comfortable with. Uh, make sure that you can see your histogram uh, up here in the right hand corner of the develop tab uh, in Lightroom and the basics tab or the basics panel and also uh, down here uh, when, we, when we convert this over to a black and white image you'll see a black and white um, uh, panel pop up that we'll be able to go in and manipulate as well. So first thing that we're going to do is we're going to bring in a color image we're going to go into the basics tab and up under treatment right here at the top, we're going to convert this over to black and white. Uh, immediately a couple of things happen. Uh, your HSL slash color panel down here in Lightroom will convert over to a BNW for black and white panel, uh, which we'll be in in a few minutes. Uh, You'll also immediately see that your that your image is completely desaturated. Uh, all the color has been removed. Uh, you still have the ability to control exposure and highlights, uh, shadows, black and whites, and whatnot. 
But what I really want you to pay attention to is I want you to pay, pay attention to uh, your histogram. This is going to reveal uh, the values that are within your image. Everything from blacks to whites and then everything in between your highlights, basically your midtones uh, and your shadows. And one of the videos that I've linked um, that I want you to watch will talk specifically about the zone system. Uh, so I won't spend any time talking about that here. But basically what we will do is we will go in and we can make adjustments to our overall exposure or our highlights or whatnot and you'll see your histogram changing uh, as those adjustments are being made. Now there are a lot of different ways to edit in black and white. Uh, I'm just going to show you around a little bit. Uh, the first thing I usually like to do with any photo is I like to crop it. So I'm just going to go in, I'm going to grab my crop going to pull my crop in, see kind of where I want that to be, move my image around, and I like that right there, so I'm going to select that. Um, if you take a look at your white and black sliders, and you could, you could go in and you could start off with your exposure slider if you choose to uh, and see the effects of that, but what I usually like to do is I will go in to my black and white sliders and if you hold down your option key or alt key if you're using a PC and you click on this black slider and drag it to the right or to the left when you start to see these black values come in those are the areas of your image that are going to be completely black so they will hold no detail they will just be solid black within your image and you can pull that in do the same thing with white hold down option and I'm gonna move that to the right and you're going to see these areas right here come in. Those are going to be the areas that are completely white within your image. They will hold no information, no details. Okay, so already we have a pretty contrasty image. And then what we can do is we can go in and we can tweak how deep we want our shadows to be or how light we want our shadows to be. And then same thing with our highlights. We can go in and we can darken our highlights or brighten our highlights. We could add a little bit of contrast. If you want to tweak your overall exposure, if you need to, you can do that at the beginning or, or here. Uh, if you want to go in, and this has nothing to do with black and white, but if you want to go in and add any texture or clarity to your image, you can tweak that uh, as well. What I want to spend some time talking about Right here is going to be the black and white sliders, how we can go in. And there's a couple of ways that we can control this. Uh, you'll see on your black and white mix, you have all of these different colors here. And what this is just going to represent is the value of each of these. What were these colors within your image? So anything that was green within your image, you can either brighten that by moving it to the right or darken that area. Uh, of your image by moving it to the left yellows moving your sliders back and forth you can go in and you can change the value of those orange red or whatnot that's one way to do it is to manually go in and control these sliders another way to do it is if you see this little icon right here is you can click on this icon you can come out here to your image and you can find an area within your image that you want to make adjustments to and you can click and hold and you can drag up or down and what it will do is it will capture the areas uh, all of the areas in that image that have those specific color values and you can brighten them or darken them so I'm gonna go up here to the sky and I'm gonna click and I'm gonna pull that down that's going to darken my aqua and my blue sliders, if you take a look over in the BMW panel, you'll see those are being adjusted. If I click and drag on the greens, see the green and yellows. So this is a real fast way to do this as well. Uh, and it'll give you a lot of control over how bright or how dark a specific area of your image is. So this is where we have, this is where we started. We could go over here to our next image, do the same thing, go in, crop it if we wanted to.
go over and convert this to black and white. Make any adjustments. Just by going in and controlling my sliders. You can either add more or less contrast by brightening up your shadows or highlights. Add a little bit of clarity, a little bit of texture, or a little less texture, whichever one you want. I'm going to go grab my little sample, and I could go in now and click and drag these around if I'd like. make any adjustments to these images that you would like to. So on the surface, this is pretty much what you can do to all of your images. Take your images, go in, give them a black and white treatment, make adjustments to the blacks, the whites, the shadows, and the highlights, and the exposure if you choose to. Maybe choose to add a little bit of texture or clarity, and then go into your black and white panel and make adjustments to the values of each of these specific colors or color groups. And I encourage you to go in and play around with that this week.